On today's show, we've got a nice little dolphin dish for you, a nice little Dorado dish. It is sweet, hot, and sour mango relish. We're going to top that on a pan-seared dolphin filet and serve it with a little bit of white rice on the side, and then we'll top everything off with uh, some nice toasted Benny Seeds. Welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. Hey, we've got everything we need right here, so let's go ahead and get started on our mango relish topped dolphin dish right now. Let's go ahead and get started on our pan seared dolphin dish right now. I tell you what, look at we got everything right here. Uh, look at that nice fresh dolphin, a couple of days old. Not too bad. You still got some of that nice little yellow and some little green. Kind of see the, the blue spots up there, but this is the tail end, so this is going to be a, a pretty uh, quick cook. Now, you know, obviously, as you get toward the head, it gets thicker, so that takes a little bit more time to finish that dish off, but I'm using the back end, the tail end of our fish right here. We've got uh, about a third of a cup of minced shallots. We've got one jalapeno pepper right there. And we got that thing minced up pretty well. And I've included the, the, the seeds and those little veins that are in there. We've got a, um, a mango right here. I've chopped that up. We're gonna, we're gonna add to this. We need two mangoes for this uh, recipe. We've got a little, uh, a little bit of Asian Vietnamese fish sauce, a little bit of cayenne pepper, not a lot. Right here, we've got some Benny seeds, which is gonna sort of kind of uh, round out the dish here. We got a little bit of uh, sugar, white sugar. We got, a, uh, I believe that's a tablespoon of that. Then we're going to use about a uh, two and a half, maybe three teaspoons of fresh lime juice. And we're gonna use all the rind on our uh, lime for our dish. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and you know what we need to do? We need to finish up. I'm going to move this guy right over here. We need to finish cutting up our um, nice made a mess oh, it's, as usual. Need to start uh, cutting up our second mango. I just wanted to kind of show you how I go about doing that. Now we're going to come in. We're just going to take our mango. Um, I don't, I guess you could wash it if you wanted to. <laughs> Doesn't matter because we're not going to use <laughs> the uh, the rind. So I'm just coming here and I'm going to, I guess I am, yes. I'm going to cut the uh, the top off and then we come back in here. We can cut the bottom off. And now there's a, you see how this thing's kind of, kind of oblong? That's the shape of the seed that's right in the middle. So I'll kind of, I don't know if I'll show, the, show you that or not, but I may. <laughs> so any, anywho, so we're going to come in. We're just going to uh, basically cut the skin right off this mango just like this all right now we are just about done just like that oh there's a little bit right there so there uh-huh a little bit i thought i had everything so there we are that is our uh peeled or yeah peeled that'll be it our peeled mango now i'm going to come in and i'm just going to cut right down the side of that big old uh seed and i'm going to try not to cut myself do the same thing here and then come on this side of it just like so and you know what that thing's getting a little slick so we'll just do this right here just like that okay so believe it or not that's the seed pod and the seeds inside so anyway hear that kind of hard so we're gonna put this over here right here now nothing magical about dicing you know we just come in and we want some nice little Nice little cubes in there. And you know what's the thing about um, mangoes is you know the flesh kind of changes color. This is a this is a, 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 a I get just another I don't know version. Maybe it's a little riper. I'm not sure about that. But I do know we need to go ahead and get these diced up just like so, and add it in. And we'll begin. All right, Mr. Fly, go on our uh, relish here in a second. And remember, be careful with your knife so you don't get cut. <laughs> right now here we are now we have two mangoes diced up and ready to be turned into an unbelievable relish so let's go ahead and get that started we're going to take i tell you yeah we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our um yes we got our stuff over here our shallot and we got come in here i'm using a little bit of uh, olive oil this is uh, uh, our lemon thyme infused olive oil and if you want hey 
if you want to know how to make this along with getting maybe this recipe also go to the website everything's there hey you know what also we've got a little storing it hat shirts everything else we got our sauces and rubs are coming out also down the road so okay so we got that little um selfish self promotion out of the way so let's get back to cooking so i'm gonna come in here we've got i think we're still up and running let's see here are we or are we not nope so let's get that started there we are okay i was trying to get everything warmed up and ready now we're ready to go i'm here to add a couple of spoons of our oil just like that i'm gonna bring that up to heat and then we're gonna saute our uh, our shallot here for about four minutes. We don't want to turn it brown, or 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 get it brown, I guess you could say. But we do want to get a little bit of color on that. Oh yeah, just like so. Okay. So let's get this thing going. Got to heat it back up just a tad. All right, we're getting up to temperature. We're starting to saute everything. So you know we got another couple of minutes. Now we, again, we don't want to burn our shallots we just want to get a nice little caramel color on on our little pieces of mince deliciousness over here oh man that's looking good right there heck yeah man oh and the smell you get that that thyme and that lemon and then we use Myers lemon to uh to create our olive oil and i tell you that oh man that's gonna smell gonna add just some nice little subtle flavors into our relish so it's been about four minutes we're gonna come in here we're gonna add our jalapeno just like that, you're out of the way. And now we're gonna uh, saute this until they just begin to get a little soft and they're gonna start releasing all those great flavors. Just like that, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah, man, that is looking good. Again, we don't want to overcook this, okay? Just remember that. <laughs> so things appear to be kind of sort of right where we need that. See, we're just, just barely starting to get a little, a little brown on our shallots and that's what we uh, want to stay away from so we're going to come in here we're going to add our two mangoes just like that heck yeah oh wow check that out yes sir put this in there make some noise now we're going to stir this up oh man check that look at the colors there heck yeah just like so now we're going to come in here we're going to add our sugar just like that we're going to add our fish sauce just like that and then we got a little bit of cayenne pepper about an eighth of a, a, a teaspoon not a lot just a little, something you have a little added bump there and we're going to stir this in now let me, let me explain something to you. you throw that fish sauce in here it's going to heat up now, you, you might want to step back a little bit it's it's very very strong but what happens is this thing cool up uh, cools which this thing cooks down uh, that that strong fish uh, smell is going to dissipate and everything's gonna work very well together so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up so if you do cook the recipe and you throw that in there and you get your head over this thing <laughs> you might be questioning what I'm doing here so anyway that's that's just that All right now we're gonna come in here we're gonna add the zest of our one lime just like so Oh yeah. Oh, that helps out. It smells good. All right, there we go. We've got the zest of our lime. Now, I tell you what, we are almost done. I mean, this is actually pretty close to real time here. And our relish is... Oh man, I tell you what, this is looking good. Oh, the smells now. That fish sauce is kind of sort of dissipated. And uh, I tell you what, look on the edges right here. We're getting some nice, nice thickening going on there and i tell you i think we're about done i mean that looks pretty daggone good heck yeah so come over here uh i'm gonna i think i'm just gonna go ahead and turn that off right this second i'm gonna move these out of the way this here and we're going to add a relish to a little bowl we're gonna let that cool off just a tad then we're gonna add in a couple of teaspoons of fresh lime juice two and a half three teaspoons um you know, it depends on how much you like lime yourself. So there we go. So just like so. Heck yeah, man. Check that out right there. Heck yeah. Can you all see that? Oh, ah, smells good. Now it is time for us to pan sear our dolphin. All right, let's take a look at how we are going to prepare our dolphin. Look at that beautiful, 
Yeah. Ah, no fishy smell whatsoever, which is exactly what you want with uh, fresh fish or any fish that you buy. I guess we have our bird of prey is kind of chirping in on us. Now, uh, the recipe that we've got for you to download is good for, I believe, um, four servings. We're only going to do one today, but uh, our relish is enough for four. So we're going to come in with our, our knife. I'm not going to uh, cook this whole thing. So I, you know what? That looks, that's probably about a, yeah, that'll be perfect. That's, that's about four, six ounce, beautiful little piece of fish. So we're going to come in, add a little bit of salt to this, not a lot. And I'm going to, um, leave the skin on. I'm not going to eat the skin, but it just kind of holds that fish together the way we need it. Now we'll come over here, grab ourselves a little bit of cornstarch and whoop, and we're just going to dust it just like that. Kind of get that kind of covered just like so. And then we will, I'm going to go do both sides and we're just going to kind of sort of um, dust that off just like that. We just need a little bit of, um, of a dusting. A dusting dusting <laughs> so anywho so you know what we can leave that right there wipe my hands off get that fly out of our um relishing you know what i tell you what we do what we do need to do we need to come in and we got to add our lime juice to our relish we're going to come in here i cut the lime in half and we're just going to come in here and squeeze Yo, hmm, let's see. We might squeeze just a little bit more. I think that one's not as quite as juicy as I like my limes. But there we go, that'll work right there. So that's about two and a half, maybe three uh, uh, teaspoons of our lime juice. Now, what did we do with our, I don't know what we did with it. Our spatula, it just kind of sort of went away. Okay, any, anyway. Come in here, we're just going to add this. We're just going to mix that in there, just like so. Oh, yeah. And I tell you what, that um, that strong fish sauce smell is gone, which is perfect. So, just like that. Okay. Now, our relish is ready, and it is time to finish this dish off and get our dolphin in some more of our oil. We come in here with about a tablespoon just like that that's all we need we don't need a lot we're not we're not deep frying we're just kind of giving a nice little pan sear which is going to be perfect for what we need to do all right man check check that out that uh that oil is starting to shimmer do that little dance it does when it heats up now i'm going to come in here i'm going to add our dolphin flesh side down i'm going to cook that a couple of minutes on one side then we're going to flip it over and then we will finish this dish right off Oh man, check that out. Yes, sir. Re. Oh man, I think we are ready to flip it over. Gotta be careful. Oh my, check that. Oh wow, look at that. Nice golden brown. Oh man, nice little, nice little crunchiness on top of that. Heck yeah, we got a couple of minutes and we are gonna be ready to finish this dish off. Oh man, yes, sir. Re. All right, I tell you what, I think, yes. I don't have to think anymore. We are done. I'm gonna let this little dolphin sit on our paper towels. Turn the heat off. We're good to go with that. And I'm gonna move this over here. Oh yeah, we've got got myself a little bit of uh, white rice on top there. I don't think you need to know how to cook white rice. Anyway, I sure wish Mr. Bird of Prey would go away. But anyway, <laughs> he's chirping in. Who knows what he's after? So anyway, here we go. Let's come in here with our Dolphin, just kind of sort of pat him down a little bit. Oh man, check that out. Isn't that not good? Oh man, heck yeah. Now we come in with some of our relish, just like so. Oh man, look at that. Oh, the smells are unbelievable. Just come in here and just do a little bit like that. Oh yeah, just, oh wow. That is awesome. I tell you, you know, coming in here, we'll put a little bit right down there. So you might want to mix that in with your rice just a little bit. You know, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of um, soy sauce. And just kind of add to the top of our rice, just like that. Oh man, yes siree. Gotta clean the plate up just a tad. Oh wow, now I'm gonna come in with our, our uh, Benny seeds. These are toasted Benny seeds. Come in here and just add a little bit just on top. What are we gonna do here? I'll tell you what, we can come in here. We can add a little bit of uniqueness to this i think we are you know what we'll do that just like so come back in here with this little guy 
and do that. Oh man, check that out. That is looking good. Let's see, how about a little bit of parsley on there? What the heck? Yes, just like this. Add a little bit more. And then we're going to finish this off with a couple of lime slices as we usually do. Just like so. Oh yeah. Oh my. Yes. One and two. Turn this guy around just like that. Oh wow. And there it is. Oh man. There you go. Right there. There is our sweet hot and sour mango relish that we've put on top of a nice pan seared dolphin. How simple, quick, and easy was that? Hey, right down here, guess what? We got another dolphin dish for you to try. Hey, over here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, the recipes, everything you need is down in the description below. Until next time, God bless, and we'll see you soon.